I'm in the dark now with only my oven light to guide me because Donovan decided he wants to shut the light off and I'm allowing it because I have the oven light. But I just wanted to share what I'm making is a nice meat sauce to go on a lasagna. And I'm doing it tonight, but making it for tomorrow. What I'm gonna do is prep a whole lasagna with some uncooked noodles, let it sit overnight, and then bake it tomorrow. So my sauce just consists of some ground beef. Um, we have these frozen chopped onion cubes and garlic, and I used that because I didn't feel like cutting up some stuff from trying to make this fast. Um, I had a can of, we had Rouse tomatoes. I didn't even know they made. I can't even see it. I'm not sponsored as always. They're browse, but they're like whole tomatoes, so I'm just like sitting there breaking them right now. And then I use a can of tomato paste, an entire can, just to thicken it up and to give it a deeper flavor. Um, add salt, crushed red pepper. I'm probably gonna just put basil. I don't know if I'm gonna use oregano. I might just use basil, we'll see, but I'll do that at the end. And then um, I'll show you when I'm layering the pasta with the uncooked noodles, and maybe I'll have a light by then. We'll see what happens. We'll see if Don ends upstairs for night nights. Okay, my sauce is ready, so now I'm gonna make my cheese blend because it's just easier for me to do one layer of cheese. I know some people like to do ricotta and mozzarella or one cheese over the other, whatever. But I like to mix them. So I'm gonna take this entire thing. Come on, you can do it. Oh, there it goes. And then I'm gonna take most of this cheese, but I'm gonna save some for the very top of this lasagna. Yep, maybe a little more. A little bit of basil, because we have some basil in the sauce. The sauce, by the way, is so good. I'm not trying to toot my own horn, it's because of the it's because of the tomatoes. It really matters sometimes. Not sometimes. It really matters. If the tomatoes are supposed to be like the star of the dish, I know it's lasagna, but you want those tomatoes to taste good. I kinda wish I had just made a regular like pasta for this like instead of putting cheese because it tastes so good but now I know those tomatoes are really good not sponsored never sponsored okay eh. mix up our ricotta and our mozzarella so we can, so we can dollop it on our layers dollop I don't know why I shouted that, but I shout random words out sometimes. We have all our elements now. Get this out of the way. Got a lot of stuff, not a lot of room. The sauce really did turn out good. A nice big ladle full. Plop it, spread it out. It's in I'm gonna do this. Maybe do that a little bit. Deep. So now some things say cheese first, some things say sauce first. My brain is telling me sauce first because that's how I'm gonna end. So I kinda wanna keep up that pattern. Okay. This is gonna be the fun part. Oh boy, how thick this is. Gonna have to do like little, like. <laughs> Next. Why didn't I do five on the bottom layer? Twin. Oh. You think my brain knew math? Uh, you know, I'm just, I'm sliding it in. Look what I can do. You can't stop me. I'm doing it. Watch this sneaky bit. top one be broken. None of the others were broken! It's fine. Like a chipped tooth. Nothing wrong with it. Happens. There you go. 
can't be all we we can't all be perfect. I mean, as close as I was, <laughs> you know. What happens? I get too saucy early on. That's what happens. Oh yeah. Getting there. We're getting there. Should, I should have been a little less liberal with the sauce early on. Yep, yep. Even though it didn't seem like I was, right? It didn't seem like it. This could be great. You know what? It's gonna bubble. It's gonna bubble. It's gonna sit in this all night. I'll bake it for like what? An hour? Didn't forget this. Okay. Okay. That's it for this. I'm gonna cover it. Oh no, this thing got bent so much. Whatever. I'm gonna cover this. I've got this covered. Now I'm gonna stick this in the fridge and I'm baking it tomorrow. So you'll see that part. Bye. It's the next day. This has been sitting in the fridge overnight. Doesn't look very different. Um, the noodles are a little bit softer. I feel like the top ones might get slightly on the gummy side. But um, I've made this before and I kind of forget what the texture was like. I do remember that it, it was a lot easier though. I just pulled it out of the oven. It was in there for... <sighs> Even the dishwasher wants to interrupt me. Uh, it was in there for an hour at 375. So this is what the sides are looking like. Ooh, so bubbly. It's hard to do this with gloves. Let's see. So when I cook it again later to reheat it, I'm gonna keep it uncovered so we'll get a little more brown on top too, so that'll be nice. Okay, I'll show you that later. Okay, bye. And there it goes. Okay. There's no way I'm waiting to cut into this thing. So hot. Uh, oh, it's gotta be the gun tonight, come on. Well, the noodles are tender, so that's nice. The top ones are probably a little bit tougher just because my sauce wasn't wasn't very runny. Yeah, it was pretty thick, huh? Just added another half a can of tomatoes or something. I don't know. Okay. It's a corner piece, so this is really attractive, but you know. Ooh. All right, I'll get the... Here's a cross section. I apologize for my appearance, but this is my appearance, so. Let's see. I'm so excited. I was really in the mood for lasagna, too. Could have added a lot more cheese and stuff. I gotta double the sauce and the cheese, I think, next time, or at least one and a half. But it still turned out good. When I tasted the sauce yesterday, I noticed it was really good. I know you can do no boil lasagna the same day and you don't have to do what I did. But I noticed whenever I had done that in the past, that I was like, you know what? I should prepare it the day before. So this time I prepared for that because I figured it might turn out better. I think it did. The texture of the top, like I said, you just have to add more sauce. I didn't go by a recipe or anything. I just did this. Ooh. That's it. Thank you for sharing. This is very tasty. Someone. This is very tasty, and thank you for joining me on this video. I hope to see you in the next one.